Hi, Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos are encouraging you and strengthening you. And if they are, please share and like. But anyway, wanted to share a friend's website. It's uh, Horton Brothers Crafts dot com but anyway www.hortonbrotherscrafts.com so check them out but anyway let's open up in prayer good message today dear gracious heavenly father i thank you so much for this time to get to come and share your word with your people lord so important you are so important jesus yes you are <clears throat> i come to you lord I know on my own strength, I can't do this. That's why I come to you, Father. I lay down myself to you, Father, because I know you are the one that strengthens me. I give you all the glory and praise for who I am and who I'm becoming. Come speak to your people. So important, Jesus. Yes, so important that you speak to them. It's not about Benjamin. It's all about you, Jesus. I give you all the glory and praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So powerful. But anyway, we are in 1 John 4, verses 14. And then we're going to go to the book of John 10, 15, and 16. So powerful. Let's read. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Wow. So powerful alone in words. The Father sent his Son, Savior of the world. Without him, without him coming and laying his life down for us. We would be lost in the sauce. Do we truly understand and can truly grasp how powerful that is, right? So much love, so much grace that he came because he knew the world, right, had fallen with sin. And the only way out of sin is by accepting him as our Lord and Savior and realize that he came here. That the Father sent his only begotten Son to make that pathway for all of us to come to realize what he truly did for us. So powerful, so much love, and only he can open up eyes and ears. And I pray that he is speaking to you, and I pray that these videos help you. It's so important. He is so important. To be seen in this world that he truly made. And I love that part. Let's read it again. And we have seen and testified that the father has sent the son. Savior of the world. Wow. He knows each and every single one of us. Because they. Well, he created us, right? He created everything here. He made us. He made the world. And he's calling those. Right? He's calling those that he truly knows who need to come to him. Yes, that pathway, the only true life, Jesus Christ, through him we can live after this life. So powerful, so much love for us. Nothing we did to deserve it, just so much grace. But anyway, let's go to John 10. Verses 15 and 16. So powerful. Okay. 15. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Wow. He came to lay his life down so we can come to him and accept him as our Lord and Savior. He did it for his people. The ones that see what he did, right? Only he can open up eyes and ears. So powerful, so much love and grace. Let's read the next verse. Amen. Verse 16. And other sheep I have which are not of the fold. Them also I must bring and they will hear my voice. And they 
and there will be one flock and one sheep. Wow, let's read that one again. Verse 16, and other sheep I have which are not of the fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and they and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Wow, I boast of my weakness. I keep wanting to say they. I don't know why, but it says, let's read it again. And other sheep I have which are not of the of the fold, them also must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Wow. One shepherd, the true shepherd, Jesus Christ, that one that came to lay his life down. Even the ones, right, that don't see him, only he can open up the eyes and ears. Only he can call you by your name and pull you from the darkness. And I pray that he is doing that. And I believe it, right? I believe in the one, the true son, the only true bread of life he laid his life down for us and only he can open up eyes and ears and i pray that you can see the true beauty of what jesus did for us and if that's you and he's been working on you and you want to accept him as your lord and savior amen all you have to do is realize that you were a sinner you came here as a sinner soon you were born and everything you have done since you've been here in exchange, you want to give that to him, and you realize he carried that cross for you. He took that beating for you. So powerful. And you want to lay all of your sins at his feet. You want to give them to him. In exchange, you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. So powerful. So much grace and love. And if that's you, amen. All you have to do is pray this prayer. Jesus, thank you so much. I see what you did for me. I see now that I've been born a sinner and I want to give you, since I've been here on this earth, this world that you made, I want to give you all of my sins, everything I've done wrong here. And in exchange, I want to give them to you and I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior. And most of all, Lord, thank you so much for that. But I also want to have more wisdom, more understanding, more knowledge. Help me see and continue to see you more and more and more and grow more into you. Because I know now, since I accept you as my Lord and Savior, you're going to send me your spirit, your Holy Spirit. Let him teach me because he's a teacher. So I can understand more and see more about you, Jesus. Open my eyes and open my ears even more. To have that hunger, that that hunger. That I will thirst no more because you are the living water in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So powerful. So much love. He loves you so much. Ask him because he's a gentleman. That's why we have to ask him to come to be our Lord and Savior because he's a gentleman. He won't invade. And you have to ask him if you want more wisdom, more understanding, more knowledge, more of his spirit, more to be like him. He's a gentleman. And if that's you, you accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. We are a brother and sister in Christ, and he loves you so much. That's why he did it. He laid his life down so we can live through him. Amen. Nothing we did to deserve it, just so much grace, so much power in that alone that he loved us that much. And that's why the Father sent his son. Amen. To make that pathway. Glory to God. And if you're already a brother and sister in Christ, amen. I pray these videos are strengthening and encouraging you. And if they are, please share and like. And it's so important to get his word out. Amen. But anyway, Joshua won, right? But, well, stay strong, right? But before we do that, let us close. I most forgot. <laughs> But I love doing this. It's truly about Jesus, all about Jesus, the whole book. But let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, thank you so much for your only begotten son that you sent him here. And only you can open up eyes so they could see the true beauty of your son, what he did for us. So much grace and love. Nothing we did to deserve it. Just so much love on your part, Jesus, that you said, I'm going to go down there and make things right so they can 
have a choice to pick me as their Lord and Savior and choose to come to the true living water, the true bread of life, the true light of the world, to pull us away from the darkness, the enemy that does not want us to see the true beauty of you, Jesus. Thank you so much for what you did. You get all the glory and praise for who I am. Yes, Jesus, all the glory and praise for who I am. Only you can open up eyes and ears. And I know these videos are helping. They're encouraging your people, Jesus. Amen. My brothers and sisters, and you're the only one that can open up and call those ones that you know that must come to you and see what you did. Only you can do that. In Jesus Christ's name, glory to you forever. Amen. So powerful. I pray that you 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 continue, right? to grow and get to know the one that truly did that for us. So much grace, so much love. And if that's you, amen. Keep asking him. Start in the book of John. In this book here where I've read last, and this is John 10, but start in John 1, the very first one, and just go through it <clears throat> and ask for his wisdom and his understanding, more of his knowledge, okay? And if you want to draw closer to his spirit, ask that. Say, Jesus, I want to draw closer to your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, okay? But anyway, you stay strong. Stay strong. He sees you. He's for you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Amen. Stay strong. He's got you.